everybody and welcome back to another tutorial from my Simply Series range of books. So today I'm going to be taking you through Swingin' Jazz from my Simply Jazz Blues and Rags book. I do hope you like it. If you want to know where I got the book from, there'll be a link in the description or there'll be a link above my head and there'll be a link in the description bar directly underneath this video. So if you want to know how to play Swingin' Jazz from my Simply Jazz Blues and Rags book, then please keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is play it all the way through and then I shall take you through parts of the music. swinging jazz. You might notice um, starting off with the rhythm it says a bouncy swing and I was playing the the eighth notes or the quavers in a very bouncy style. It doesn't necessarily say that on the music there are some kind of um, notation marks that you can put on the music at, at the start where it says sort of next to bouncy swing. I decided not to put that in because I, I, th I thought that it might confuse some people. So if you wanted to know how to play it, then you could just come and watch this video. But I was playing all the quavers or the eighth notes in a very bouncy style. <laughs> very swinging jazz at all so you just want to bounce and you just want to swing those quavers which is or those eighth notes which is pretty easy to do pretty much um, so you've just got a few uh, B flats and B naturals if I just tell you where those are you've got your B flat so you've got your B which is normally on the A string in its normal position here on the dot and then a B flat is all the way back towards where you feel the ridge of the nut so it's actually quite far back from where the B normally is. You've got a B flat to start with, then a B natural. So you just sort of B flat, B natural. So you just slide it across. So you start in a back position and that's all you're doing. Just slide it, don't take the bow off the string, just, just slide it across. And it's nice actually that you get that slide as it is a little bit more authentic with the sort of music. Um, there's a few open E's and a few fours for the E's. It's completely up to you if you want to do open E's. I put fours on them just because that's something that I'm just used to doing. But again, it's completely up to you. Fours are sometimes better to do because they do keep everything on one string and it saves all the string crossing. But again, for simplicity reasons, if you want to just do an open string, that's entirely up to you. You've got a few C sharps on the G string, um, especially in bar seven. So your third finger is normally on its third finger line or dot, which would be here. And your C sharp is just going to be sort of the next place above it. So if I just put my, my third finger just above where that green dot is. So if it's on the green dot, it would be sort of the next finger on from that. So it's just a sort of stretch. If you don't do that, then it isn't going to sound, you know, you're going to ruin the whole nature of the piece if you're putting in just a C natural. So the C sharps on the G string are actually quite difficult to do because they do require your arm to come round a bit more so that your fingers can reach, you know, the, 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 the G string is what I was trying to say. So just up, put your arm round, reach round so that you can get to that G string enough and then make sure that third finger is stretched. Circle that on the music if, if that's something that, that you need to do. So that's, that's pretty much everything that I can think of. You've just got a couple of F naturals in there, um, bar 13 and bar 12. The F naturals are just gonna be in a back position, which is, means it's just close to where the first finger is. So the first finger for E and an F natural is gonna be jammed in next to it. So I think that's pretty much it that I need to mention with this music. Everything else sort of seems self-explanatory. So I hope you enjoyed this piece. Don't forget to check in the description bar underneath a link to all the other books in the series, Simply Country, Simply, simply Gypsy, Simply Jigs and Reels and that kind of stuff. They will be underneath. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.